We didn't actually leave the camera here. We're Amanda and Jace, and this is our van, Fern. If you're new here, last September we swapped our wedding date for driving this empty cargo van from Vancouver to Toronto, and we're spending 2021 converting it into our tiny home on wheels. This week, we're primed and ready to finish our walls completely, or at least we thought, as we try some unconventional lime wash paint for our interiors. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. You and I, the future is bright. You and I, we met a Tuesday morning. Sun high in the sky, and I felt free. You did your best, and I ignored no more minutes. Morning. Fair enough, I guess I didn't want to see. What are you doing? He is time for me to Make a list. We have a list. No, a big list. So we didn't really show or explain too much of what we did to finish off our back bunky windows here. For the aesthetic that we're going for, I didn't really like the black trim around them, which is why when we put our walls in, we actually extended them down beyond where most people frame out their windows. So what we ended up doing was we added some pieces all the way around the, the edges fired some nails in there. So it matches how we did our fans, how we did our front windows. Mm -hmm. It's just a very minimal, clean look. The only problem, we now don't have access to our screws for a window, so hopefully we never have issues with our window. No, I thought of that too. If we do need access to our windows, yeah, we'll have to take this off, but we don't have to take the whole window off. Just we just have to around. take, yeah, we just would have to take these pieces off. Said that they don't got a future, future like that. It burns, so give him something worse to kill his head with. Make him forget somehow. Might be that another day she would have wished he stayed, but they're done. Sorry, it won't be enough this time. Yeah, he's calling all his friends to get some action and distract him right now. He's fine, but Lucy on the This wood killer has been our best friend during this process. We're just finishing the last steps and I think the van is fully prepped to paint. Don't you wanna have fun? Fool around with someone. Don't you wanna have fun? Never mind my dumb heart. It needs a little kickstart. Don't you wanna have fun? Don't you wanna have some fun? Third coat done. So hot in here. We forgot the fans. another day she would have wished to stay, but they're done. Fourth coat done. Don't you wanna have fun? That looks so much better. It's so much better. 
Now that we've done five coats of regular primer, uh, because we decided to go with Bowerk Lime Wash, we now have to go with a Lime Wash Prep Coat. More primer! <laughs> More primer, so now we gotta do two coats of this. And then Lime Wash. I'm getting a rash. Can't even see it actually on camera, can you? No, I look fine on camera. Today's paint day! Well, actual paint day. We've done a lot of painting so far. That's true. But this paint is what's really gonna transform our space. We decided to go with a lime wash paint by Bowerwork Color. We went with the stone color. We actually haven't seen it in person, so I'm excited to open it up. Lime wash paint is quite new for us. Uh, it is made of ground up limestone, color pigment, and water. So it's a supernatural product and essentially it actually stains the surface instead of paints. So we're really excited to test this out and see the texture that we get from it. So because of the composition of this paint, it's actually quite watery, which means that the pigment can settle at the bottom. So it needs to be stirred frequently while you're using it to ensure that the pigment is dispersed evenly throughout your paint and you're getting a really good application on the wall. You actually get specialized brushes to use with it. These brushes are designed specifically to leave less streaks behind and also to help you create that typical cloud-like pattern that you associate with lime wash. So if you want to check out Bowerwork online, they have tons of beautiful, beautiful colors, especially if you're looking for a project where you want something that's a little like a little more different and more texture. Yeah. If you're in Canada, we did purchase our Bowerwork through Salt by the Casa. Uh, so you can definitely check them out, uh, they're a great reseller. So let's get some paint on the walls. In and out of love, never get enough, we never seem to get older. When things are going right, you seem to have the time, but when it's hard you just grow cold up. We should be good, but we'll keep out of fires. How would you be? Could we scared of the silence? We should be good, but we'll keep out of fires. Fires around ourselves. We should be good, but we'll keep out of fires. The words repeat, because we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we'll keep out of fires. Fires around ourselves. It's deja vu. Now we wait for it to dry. And while we wait for it to dry, we're going to go make a snack. Make something to eat. Time to take a thumbnail. It's deja vu. Memories come back when I'm with you. It's deja vu. Oh no. We're, oh no. <laughs> We're out of paint and I just used the last bit on my on my coveralls. We were so close. We did get two coats, well, almost two complete coats on everywhere that's going to be seen, so like mm -hmm. not the entire wall. Yeah, I originally didn't think that we were going to do three coats. They recommend at least two, but only three if, if you want it to be a little bit darker. And I didn't want it to be darker, but I actually love, I love the color so much that I think we're gonna have to order another one so we can do a third coat. So it's kind of done. We can check it off anyway. Right. 
it's a small task but we're adding these magnets so it doesn't open while we drive. We are leaving you this week on a bit of an unsatisfying cliffhanger because we do need to order more paint and we need to do at least one more coat. So we didn't want to take any of the painter's tape or the cardboard off the floor. So no, no fancy no nice shots. shots at the end. But we are heading out of Chatham, have a nice little break next week. So stay tuned for the vlog next week and you'll see what we're up to. Yeah, we might be trading van life another life. But I will say I love the color. I mean I don't think the camera can really pick it up but it's so so stunning and beautiful and that's why I really really want to get one more coat in here. It looks so nice especially on the arches. All right well we gotta get driving before it gets too late. We gotta get going. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes If I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down <laughs>